Take it away. Thank you. A very warm welcome. This is Reza. I'm here to introduce you to Solar Brush. That's a robotic cleaning system for solar generators. As you probably heard of, there has been a vast increase in installments of solar panels on a global scale, actually, especially in the so-called sunbelt countries, regions where there's lots of sun, but also lots of dust and sand. That's why people face the problem of low efficiency. People lose up to 35% in a single month. That's quite a lot. So they try to clean it manually. But this obviously is quite expensive and also quite dangerous to conduct in the Mideastern heat. So what I did is I invented a robot that cleans those solar panels. The way this works is um, it has a brush in the front and it swipes the sand away into the mounting space in between off to the ground. Now this unit is very lightweight and what I'm really proud of, it is wireless. Competitors still need a wiring and I used to in the past as well, as you see here. I invented... <laughs> now, okay. now, I invented this in the very past and therefore I say solar brush is in first in servicing solar panels, um, but people used to call me nuts for this because the market volume was very low back then. Times has ob have obviously changed and there is a big potential in this as the price of photovoltaics will be competitive to coal in the Sunbelt countries very soon. So that's where I'm getting actually a high demand. People dropping me emails hey, we, we are installing a 100 megawatt plant in Saudi Arabia, um, can we have, have your robot? And, and questions like this occur really a lot. So as I'm a nominee for the Green Ideas Award this year, I got to exhibit in Abu Dhabi, I just returned yesterday, and uh, presented this bot in the target market. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so... So, so I'm really keen on testing and, and uh, being in talks with potential customers and it, it was very well received as um, the, the higher efficiency of the solar panels will drive, drive more uh, installments over time. So I'm basically on the mission to, to sell a, a, a fleet of robots to fight global warming and um, I have um, a mechanical engineering background but when building those bots, lots of stuff needs to play together. It's mechanics, it's electronics, software, and pneumatics. And I believe of being capable of doing so. And um, there's enough time left for a short product demonstration. The way this works is it has a, a brush at the front and you want to have a very lean system. So the robot has two legs, competitors need 20. And the way this works is, <laughs> now listen, the, the, the way this works is it twists its legs. So the choreography is like this and it, it's, it also can lift the legs. So let me turn this on. The, the, the way this works is it just twists its legs and therefore brushes the sand into the mounting space uh, uh, in between. Well, I, I have to point out this is still a prototype, <laughs> but hold on. Okay, well done. Okay. Thank you. Um, I, I held back your applause because uh, uh, Esther Dyson kindly offered to give, her, give up her question time in order to see the demo, uh, which bodes well for you. Um, but I'm going to give you question time anyway. So Esther, would you like to start? Um, uh, yeah. it's, it's fascinating, exciting, blah, blah, blah. The I would 
need much more time to ask things about costs and distribution and reliability and so forth. But what what is really nice about it is it's specific. It does something in particular. It's useful. Uh, and again, I need to do a lot of due diligence. Thank you. Um, oh, would you like one of these for your solar panels? I don't have solar panels, but this makes oh. perfect sense. <laughs> Make perfect sense. Uh, I agree with what I, everything Esther said. And also the fact that you can sell something to China and India. That's a pretty positive development because it's the, <laughs> it's the other way around most of the time. So this makes a lot of sense. And Mr. Renault. It's very cool. It's uh, very impressive. I'd be a little bit concerned, of course, about iRobot extending their reach because they've been expanding kind of the Roomba line in different things in different markets. But um, you probably have a very different and unique technology around motion and things like that. And it's, it's nicely designed for its target application. I'm break, the, break the rules and make a comment myself. I heard this thing jumps. Yes. So, um, well, it, if it, you can do it, hold on. if you can do it in 30 seconds, no, you it, can demo the jump. It, it, it basically walks. So the main advantage, <laughs> listen, the, 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 the main advantage compared to the Roomba robots you, you mentioned is that I make use of the, the geometry of the solar panels. The, uh, it has uh, two sensors and built at the very front. Therefore, I can detect the edge of the frame and can move in a in a structured manner, meander sort of like shape. And I do not vacuum like Roomba would do, which is not very energy efficient. I just swipe it off onto the ground. Therefore, I don't need to empty a magazine. And uh, my robot, the, the onboard battery, is to last four hours. OK, so thank great. You. Very impressive. I'm going to yeah. have to draw just lines. I'm sorry. Uh, keep, it, keep it cheap enough so that Roomba doesn't think it's a market worth going into and you can own it. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is patent pending, right. actually. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm very sorry. I have to draw a line out of that. Thank you. <laughs>